Hello, Internets. Ben here with another Mysterious Space update. And I, you know what? It's technically not April 1st anymore, so I don't have to worry about trying to convince you that this is an April 1st thing, because it isn't. I'm not doing that for Mysterious Space. So let us know. It's, it's like, oh, God, it doesn't matter. I, I can say as much as I want. You won't believe me if you don't want to, but it isn't. So let's just show you the boss that I've been working on. Um, the only thing you might consider foolish about him is that his graphics are not complete, so he's going to look really stupid. So this is basically, we already have an enemy uh, th that does this, right? The Tunneling Taurus, as it is called. Uh, and this is a bigger version. Uh, it also moves in a, in a different way. It cares a little less about staying near you and more about staying near solid ground, just to be a pain in the butt. Um, so you can see, though, when I am down here, he's happy to come find me. And as long as he's underneath ground, he'll, uh, he'll follow. He's also less affected by wind than you are, but he's a little slower, so I think it'll be fine. I mean, honestly, if that meant that he'd catch up with you and you just had to work with the wind, that would actually be kind of preferable. Um, but I just didn't want him getting pushed around by the wind as much, so he isn't. And I'm glad to see that that's working because I had not fully tested that. Um, ah, so anyway, let me try and kill him. You'll see that, oh, or I could just get myself killed. Uh, please revive. Um, you may see that... There we go. If I can blow up like the middle of him, much like the smaller tunneling Taurus things, oops, oops, turn around. Um, he'll split in two. Uh, and this is a boss that, like the tunneling Taurus, will only be found. I want, really want to get him in the middle. Uh, will only be found on desert or lava worlds. There we go. Uh, so there, you can see he splits apart just like the tunneling Taurus. Now, he isn't a monster, he's not a ship, so he's smoking as if a ship, which kind of bugs me. I think I might replace that with, rather than rising white circles, falling red circles, as if to indicate blood. Um, and there's a couple other creatures that that would be appropriate for. I'm going to die now. Oh, look, he dropped his fuel. I'll talk about that if I survive, even if I don't. I'm just going to die. My revive thing is empty, like, I'm super dead. Unless he just never... This is kind of funny. Well then, you know, maybe I'll want to fix that, maybe not. I've actually been trying to. He's supposed... <laughs> well, that was my fault. Um, he's supposed to always center, like, circle just off center of you so that he will hit you. That apparently was not working. Um, the thing I was going to say is that it's a random, a random segment of his body contains the fuel. Um, so you'll just have to keep blowing up sections until you drop the fuel and hope that you find it. It's probably worth finishing off the rest of the parts even when you do get the fuel because he's going to follow you. Even if there's just one little silly head moving around, it's going to follow you. The one little head thing looks weird, uh, but but there it is. Let me see if I can happen to get it again. Um, I don't know. Desert? Question mark? Yeah, no deserts. I, I want to put them also on Desolate Worlds, actually, uh, in gray, just because the worm on, you know, a big asteroid thing. It's Star Wars, you got to so you got to have it um, as another place. Um, the whale isn't going to appear because I haven't cheated. Uh, I had to hack the game to make it so that the worm would always appear on all desert worlds so that I could show you guys just now. Um, but but the whales aren't set up like that anymore. And I've been changing around how the game decides whether or not a boss is eligible just under the hood. I mean, from, nothing is actually changing. Uh, I, not logically. It is logic. It is logic that's changing. But, but the behavior is the same, I guess. The end result is the same. It's just uh, the, the underlying logic is a little different. Um, but anyway, I, I really don't, you know, I'm just rambling at this point. I don't have much more to say. That is the, the next mini boss coming up. So we've got the whale, which hasn't been released yet, uh, and this larger tunneling Taurus once I get his graphics perfect uh, or good enough and his behavior good enough, then I will release with both the whale and the tunneling Taurus. But I, I wanted to get a couple more mini bosses, uh, especially because this was so easy. Like, I, because I was able to just copy tons of the tunneling Taurus code, um, yeah, it was just it was much quicker getting this guy started compared to say the whale. And I already have some of the work done from the whale, uh, the better collision boxes, which I've talked about. Anyway, I already said I would shut up, so I'm shutting up right now. Thank you for watching. Thank you for playing, and goodbye. And I told you it's not it's not an April Fool thing. <laughs> He's really there.